Legion. Okay. Hey, my Legion. How are y'all doing today? And happy Labor Day. Now, I do plan on doing an official Labor Day food review coming up next. But my one, uh, I, I, I wish happy Labor Day in another video, too. And my friend Julie in D.C. Food and uh, Food and Reviews uh, did a video that reminded, brought me back somewhat to uh, growing up in the 80s. And it was it brought back some nostalgia. She did a product from Hamilton Beach, a newer product called the, uh, where's it at? I'm watching her video right now again. Hamilton Beach Breakfast, Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. And she did a review and demonstration. Very well done. And that reminded me a lot of, I, I first commented on a video, I thought it was called the Burger Buddy. Uh, uh, hamburg maker and then I went to Google images because I wanted to find a photo of it I found I made a mistake it was called little Mac now it was made by the same company and it just reminded me of that and it brought me back to uh, brought me back to the 80s because uh, cuz when we lived in the old house in Cranesville my dad loved the little Mac he loves you can put fresh hamburg in there and it cooks it in like a minute well after it heats up it's like a little device real small square with a circle in the middle put the hamburg in there and then you close it and I think my dad took out the thing so I just made a flat square hamburg he took out the circle thing and uh, he loved it he used to make those all the time I remember making those him uh, myself my sister especially in the old house in Cranesville in the kitchen and we had a, like a little old black and white TV yellow black and white TV with uh, and I think they, they, the, oh, the, the knob, it was like a turn knob. And, you know, we kept, dumbass us, we kept going like that real fast. So it broke. So we had to use a pair of needle nose pliers to turn the thing. I remember the comedian who did a joke about that a long time ago. And that, that is true. You had to lose needle nose pliers once you broke the thing. But I remember that. I want to thank Julie for bringing back those memories. And my question to everybody is, does anybody remember the Little Mac from Hamilton Beach? And it was from the same company that did her product, too. I was just curious. I'm going to show a photo of that, and then, you know, let me know in the comments. It was just a little fun little thing. I know that, uh, I don't, I assume they still, I don't even know if they still make it. If they still make it, let me know. But if anyone remembers that, I remember it from the 80s. But, I mean, I know some of you weren't born in the 80s, but. And then this is also for my sister and my mom, too. But if you remember this, let me know. And I'm going to show you a photo. The photo's coming now. I got it from Google Images of the uh, Hamilton Beach Little Mac. So if anyone remembers this product, just let me know in the comments. I'm just curious. All right. And stay tuned for my Labor Day food review coming up real soon because I'm getting hungry. Now, it's cooking right now, as a matter of fact. So take care and take care of my leech. Yeah, this, like I said, this is a photo of the product. I remember my dad cooking these in the 80s and... Uh, all I want to say is rest in peace, Dad. I miss you so much, and I love you so very, very much, Father. Take care, everyone.